Welcome to another 2 for 2 video, and today's topic is M Square, the channel. Update number 2, I believe this is the second time I did an update, and I think the last time was a year ago. Two years filming videos for this YouTube channel, me and uh, Mario, my camera guy. I, I knew he was coming out there, it's, it's, yeah, but it was just funny, you know, first few times. <laughs> so a couple of things on the list here. When we're filming on the street, common questions that we get asked. Number one, how much money do you make? A lot, like literally, like I make tons, tons, like there's no reason why I'm working anymore. Really, I should just retire now. No, no, I don't really make that much. I should have a chart there. People always exaggerate, oh, crazy, you can make tons of money on YouTube. No, it is saturated. There is a lot of people making money on YouTube. You gotta have views and views and views and views. Subscribers might not help you. You might have a lot of subscribers and they might only give you 30% of the views that you have from your channel. So you may have more people that are not subscribed watching your videos so that can always help you and if they click or they interact with the ads that helps you as well so that's why I have a second job I run a business tech support oh somebody commented on our YouTube channel here it says hit 18 plus and has a tiny URL dot com I am not clicking on that you know where that's gonna go okay number two question how many subscribers do you have and uh, you guys can see on our channel how many subscribers we have I used to hide the subscribers before then I realized what's the reason why it's been slowly going up which is great like we're not advertising anywhere it's just whatever organic views that we get I post on my personal Facebook timeline and I also have an M square Facebook page and all the M square social medias third question the question I like the most what kind of videos do you make and that is a really good question we're trying to figure out what we do best, and we're open-minded to uh, make whatever videos we we feel like is fun. We've done pretty much everything under the sun. No prank videos, but there may be a time or day or night for that sometime. Who knows? Another thing on the list here: video bombers. We have the camera off when we're not filming. There's no red light in the front of the camera, so you can't actually see if it's on or not. And so we have it off, and there's all these people walking in front of the camera making faces. And it's like, ah, I photo bombed you. Like, I photo bombed you. <laughs> Pretty much like that. It's not photo bombing, it's called video bombing. They say photo bombing, but get this no one's behind the camera taking a photo. So you can't really photo bomb if there's nobody behind the camera taking a photo. And if nobody's behind the camera, why do you even try photo bombing in the first place? The people that do video bomb, like, if the person's filming, doesn't cut your video bomb off. Maybe, maybe you may have someone who's watching, you know, going, oh my god, that guy that just video bomb, he's amazing. I can't believe he doesn't have his own channel. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, he should have his own YouTube channel. I would watch that shit all the time. I would watch him make fun of other videos. Reaction, that's what reaction videos are. <laughs> Interesting. It's like video bombing, but like, 2017 kind of thing, you know, you have this video on the back. anyway. So I never understood why people video bomb. There's a lot of video bombs. If you go through all our Vancouver talks, there's a bunch of different ones. For the people that film on YouTube, if you guys get video bombed, like, kind of tell me in the comments, like, what the heck that's like? What do you guys do? Um, is there any way to stop it? Like, is there a way to stop video bombing? Can I hire security? Do I need to have Mario in, like, a big ninja outfit or something? And he's not popping out with a ninja outfit, but ninja outfit's in the back of the closet. He's no way he's going to find that out. Damn it. This is t definitely not a complaint at all. This is the, the best thing ever when filming or even on the street is when someone come up to me and go, Hey, yo, I watch all your videos. First thing that comes into my mind is like, I look around like, okay, well, is that one of my buddies trolling me? I'm pretty sure someone's trolling me. Like one of my buddies must be around, saw me and then asked someone to come in and say, yo, yo, I watch all your videos, blah, blah, blah. Like pretend to be a fan. That's not the case. I looked around, none of my buddies were in the area and so legitimate fans. Last month I met a few and every time I meet one, I message Mario as quick as possible. Yo, we got a fan, we got a fan. And it's like, cause Mario's involved, if not more than I am involved in these videos. This setup right now is partially done by Mario. So it's like freaking amazing. If you guys need to hire a camera guy, call Mario. Yeah, I, I'll lend him out to you. And a really, really, really high price of, uh, he'll name his price sometime. I don't know. I mean that. Amount of subscribers we have, and the amount of views that we had, I never thought that we would actually have people watching, like, or people even spotting me on the street. Most of them were foreigners in a different country, found our videos, watched them, and then when they got here in Vancouver, they're just like, holy cow, I see M Square on the street. 
I'm gonna go talk to them. Like they don't hesitate, just come over and talk. So that's pretty cool. Like if you ever see me on the street, don't hesitate, come talk. I'll I'll chat. I'll chat anybody that's watched our videos for sure. Tell us how we did. Give us comments, compliments, give us insults if you want. You know, I like haters as well, as much as everybody else. Future videos update. Where is M Square going? So this is the two year mark. There's been long term future stuff that I wanna do with M Square that I've discussed with Mario. I think one of them is like open up a studio, have a lot of different artists, videographers, photographers, actors, actresses, whoever it may be, come into a studio and do their work and have a place to collab, have a place to bring projects in and spit out projects, get them done, and all that kind of stuff. So that'd be kind of cool. But that's like way down there. We want to put on a video con here in Vancouver. Anybody out there that wants to get involved, contact us, DM us, slide into our DMs. We can start with the meetup and then... Yeah, we can start with something simple, something small. Something that we want to do smart and just kind of work our way up to having some kind of influence here in Vancouver in terms of videography and YouTube stuff. We'll make more videos. We'll keep doing Vancouver Talks. We'll try to consistently do it differently, add our own twist to it, edit it differently, film it differently. Obviously different topics, that's always going to happen. We'll try some crazy videos. I think there's some good stuff coming up. But we will always try to put out a video every week. We've been doing that for two years, so it's been crazy actually. It's quite the challenge, but yeah, it's been fun too. Met a lot of different people. Everybody that's being interviewed by us, thank you. Everybody that's going to be interviewed by us, you're going to see us coming, so that's cool. And um, thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. M Square out and Mario. Got to poke him. Got to poke him. Where's he? There he is.